Have you ever wondered why Earth is the only planet we can call home? In the vast expanse of the universe, Earth shines as a unique celestial body, perfectly suited for life. This isn't by chance. For life as we know it to thrive, a planet needs a rare combination of factors, liquid water, a breathable atmosphere, and a suitable temperature range. Firstly, liquid water is a cornerstone for life. Earth's surface, covered by over 70% water, provides a stable environment for complex biological processes. Contrast this with other planets where water is scarce or exists only in frozen or vapor forms. Then there's our atmosphere, a delicate blend of gases that shields us from harmful solar radiation and maintains the necessary conditions for water to remain liquid. It's a natural barrier that keeps the conditions on Earth stable enough to support a diverse array of life forms. Lastly, Earth's orbit and axial tilt create a climate that varies but remains largely temperate, a rarity in the harsh extremes found elsewhere in our solar system. Let's delve deeper into why these conditions are rare in our solar system. Consider our closest celestial neighbor, the Moon. How does it compare to Earth? The Moon, a silvery globe that has captivated the human imagination for millennia, might look serene from afar but up close, it's a stark and inhospitable world. Unlike Earth, the Moon lacks a breathable atmosphere. This absence means there is no air to inhale, no natural protection from cosmic and solar radiation, and no way to disperse heat. This makes the Moon an extremely harsh environment for any Earth-born life. Moreover, the Moon is devoid of liquid water on its surface. Water is a fundamental requirement for life as we know it, serving as a solvent in which biochemical reactions take place. The lunar landscape offers only dusty plains and rocky craters. Although ice does exist in permanently shadowed lunar craters, accessing this ice and converting it into usable water would be an immense technological and energy-intensive challenge. Temperature on the Moon is another extreme hurdle. Without an atmosphere to moderate temperatures, the lunar surface experiences drastic fluctuations. During the day, temperatures can soar to 253 degrees Fahrenheit, and at night they can plunge to a chilling minus 243 degrees Fahrenheit. Such extreme temperatures pose significant challenges not only to human survival, but also to the functioning of technology and machinery, which would be subject to severe thermal stress. The low gravity environment of the Moon, at about one-sixth of Earth's gravity, presents further complications. Prolonged exposure to low gravity leads to muscle atrophy and bone density loss in humans. Moreover, the fine lunar dust, with its sharp abrasive particles, poses a risk to both human health and equipment. This dust can infiltrate spacesuits and machinery, potentially causing respiratory issues in humans and impairing technology. Clearly, the Moon lacks several critical elements that are abundant on Earth, making it a hostile environment for life as we know it. Now let's turn our gaze to Mars, a favorite in science fiction for colonization. Mars, often romanticized as our next planetary frontier, holds a certain allure. It's been the subject of countless stories and the target of numerous missions. Yet the reality of living on the red planet is starkly different from the Earth we know and cherish. First, consider Mars's atmosphere. It's incredibly thin, about 100 times less dense than Earth's and composed mostly of carbon dioxide with only trace amounts of oxygen. This composition makes it unsuitable for human respiration and would require settlers to rely entirely on life support systems just to breathe. Temperature on Mars is another big hurdle. The average temperature hovers around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit and can plunge even lower at the poles during winter. Such extreme cold would pose significant challenges for human habitation, requiring highly specialized habitats to maintain a livable environment inside. Water, essential for life as we know it, does exist on Mars, but mostly in the form of ice buried beneath the planet's surface. Extracting this ice and converting it into water, viable for drinking and agriculture, would be an immense technological and energy-intensive challenge. Moreover, Mars' weak magnetic field offers scant protection against harmful cosmic rays and solar radiation. Prolonged exposure to this radiation could lead to severe health issues for humans, including increased risks of cancer and acute radiation sickness. Building adequate shielding for habitats or suits would be crucial, but also resource demanding. Mars also lacks an Earth-like day-night cycle. A Martian day is slightly longer than Earth's, about 24 hours and 39 minutes. This might not seem like much, but it could have profound effects on human circadian rhythms, potentially impacting mental and physical health. So, while Mars does offer some intriguing possibilities for colonization, the hurdles are monumental. 
It presents a slightly more hospitable environment than the moon, yet it's still far from Earth's life-supporting conditions. Back on Earth, what makes our planet uniquely suited for life? Let's delve into the extraordinary characteristics that set Earth apart from its celestial neighbors. Firstly, Earth boasts a robust atmosphere composed primarily of nitrogen and oxygen, with traces of other gases. This atmosphere does more than just provide the air we breathe. It acts as a blanket, trapping just enough of the sun's heat to ensure the planet remains warm enough to support life, yet not so hot that our oceans would boil away. Contrast this with the Moon and Mars, where atmospheres are either negligible or too thin to support human life without artificial aids. Moreover, Earth is abundant in liquid water, a critical ingredient for life as we know it. Our planet's surface is covered by over 70% water, which facilitates not only hydration, but also the transport of nutrients, cycling of chemicals, and regulation of temperature. The Moon, in stark contrast, has water only in the form of ice trapped in shadowed craters. And Mars, though it once had flowing water, now has only icy soil and thin clouds. Another remarkable feature of Earth is its magnetic field, generated by the dynamo effect of its molten iron core. This magnetic field extends far into space, forming a protective shield called the magnetosphere, which deflects harmful solar radiation and cosmic rays. This protective shield is absent on the Moon and is only a fraction as effective on Mars, exposing these bodies to intense solar and cosmic radiation that would be deadly to unprotected life. Lastly, Earth's climate conditions are remarkably stable compared to the Moon and Mars. Our planet's orbit and axial tilt create consistent and predictable seasonal cycles, which are crucial for agriculture and by extension civilizations. The Moon experiences extreme temperature swings, making it hostile for regular human habitation while Mars with its thin atmosphere cannot retain enough solar heat to prevent its surface from freezing, nor can it support a breathable atmosphere. These features not only support diverse life forms but also create a protective bubble that is rare in our solar system. Dreaming of a multi-planetary future for humanity? Let's talk about the real challenges. Envisioning colonies on the Moon or Mars sparks the imagination, but transitioning from the Earth to another planet is fraught with difficulties that extend far beyond rocket science. First, consider the technological hurdles. Establishing a base on the Moon or Mars would require robust life support systems capable of maintaining a breathable atmosphere, suitable pressure, and a livable temperature. Unlike Earth, neither the Moon nor Mars has a breathable atmosphere, and temperatures can swing dramatically, making human survival a complex engineering challenge. Then there's the issue of radiation. Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere provide us with protection against harmful solar and cosmic radiation. However, the Moon and Mars lack these protective shields, exposing colonists to radiation levels that could prove lethal over time. Developing technology to shield astronauts from this radiation is not only difficult, but also incredibly costly. Physiological challenges also abound. The human body has evolved under Earth's gravity, and low-gravity environments like those on the Moon and Mars can lead to significant health problems, such as muscle atrophy and bone density loss. Prolonged exposure to these conditions could make returning to Earth's gravity harsh or potentially impossible for colonists. Ecologically, the sustainability of these colonies poses another set of challenges. Creating self-sustaining ecosystems that can provide food and recycle water and air is a monumental task. While closed-loop ecological systems have been experimented with on Earth, these systems have yet to be tested in the harsh environments of other planets. The risk of failure carries not just financial cost but potential human lives. Moreover, any long-term colonization plan must consider not just survival, but quality of life. The psychological impact of living in confined, unnatural spaces far from Earth, with limited social interactions and no access to nature, could have profound effects on colonists' mental health. The leap from visiting to living on these celestial bodies involves overcoming monumental challenges, as we stand on the brink of potential interplanetary travel, it's crucial to address these issues head-on, ensuring that our dreams of a multi-planetary future don't compromise the well-being of those who will live out these dreams. As we've seen today, Earth offers a unique set of conditions that are perfectly tuned for life. This planet, our blue marble, is a cradle of biodiversity thanks to its stable climate, protective atmosphere, and abundant water. Contrast this with the Moon and Mars, where harsh environments present monumental challenges. 
The moon lacks an atmosphere to shield life from deadly radiation and has no liquid water. Mars, though it holds some frozen water and a thin atmosphere, is a barren landscape with extreme temperatures. On Earth, the atmosphere not only breathes life, but also protects us from meteor impacts and solar radiation. Our magnetic field wards off solar winds, and our ozone layer filters harmful ultraviolet light. These are not mere conveniences, they are essentials without which life as we know it could not exist. While exploring other worlds is within our reach, truly calling them home is a far more complex endeavor. For now, Earth remains our only home.